like RPGs or games where you have to process information in order to win. Well, then you should become a scientist. Please let me explain. Hello fellow underdogs. Do you think playing RPGs can make you better at science? Because there is a connection between them. And in order to show that connection, I have to rely on John Holland's Holland Quotes. Holland Quotes is a model for classifying jobs into job categories. According to Holland Quotes, there are six types of interest. One of these types is investigative type. And today we are going to focus on that. Investigative types have a preference for activities that entail the observational, symbolic, systematic and creative investigation of physical, biological and cultural phenomena. These behavioral tendencies lead in turn to an acquisition of scientific and mathematical competencies. <laughs> that means they like to read stuff and use that information to their advantage. So what are the characteristics of an investigative type? They are scientific, precise, self-motivated, analytical, observant and curious, which makes them good at thinking abstractly, solving math problems, analyzing data, using computer, calculating and conducting research. And that makes them interested in programming, experimenting, solving problems, analyzing situations, puzzles and working independently. And a lot of scientists that are fulfilled with their jobs have similar interests according to Holland Codes. But as you can see, not every investigative type should be a scientist. You can also be a financial analyst if you are also a conventional and enterprising type or a dentist if you are also a realistic and social type. And maybe you are an artistic type, which makes you a great candidate for becoming a writer. Because investigative skill makes you great at processing information, whether those informations are about science, literature, finances or medicine. And you can use those informations to solve problems. Which is why people who are investigative types are also interested in RPGs. Because RPGs or RPG-like games are about learning how different abilities work. Whether they are active or passive abilities. And once they understand those abilities, they choose the best ones that are available depending on the situation in hand. A great example is an indie game called Fear and Hunger. Fear and Hunger is about understanding the situation and choosing the best option which makes investigative skill the core skill in fear and hunger. Another great example is Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, you mainly rely on your realistic skill, yet you have to support it with investigative skill. Also, in Dungeons and Dragons, spellcaster classes requires much more amount of reading compared to other classes. Well, because spellcaster roles also have to read a bunch of spells and can't just rely on dice rolls. And even in games like Street Fighter, learning how much damage your attacks do will give you an edge. 
which makes investigative skill a trivial skill in Street Fighter. By challenging yourself with these types of games, you can improve yourself with jobs that investigative types are interested in. Because in order to overcome these games, you have to read lots of information and process them so you can come up with the best answers. Which is the same skill required in jobs that investigative types interested in. So, if you are interested in RPGs or RPG-like games, you should become a scientist, financial analyst, dentist, writer, or any other job that an investigative type is interested in. And if you are already interested in these types of jobs, you can challenge yourself with RPG games to improve yourself. And yes, it might take a while. Because this is a journey, and I want to join yours if you allow me to. For that, you just have to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so my videos can easily reach you. In our next video, we will be talking about artistic types and types of challenges they are interested in. But until then, you can watch this next video to learn about realistic types and their relationship to action games.